My name is uh, Helen Beck and I'm the counselor from the uh, permanent mission of Solomon Islands to the United Nations in New York. I think it's, uh, it, it depends. Uh, there are quite a few uh, processes that are currently being um, unfolding. And uh, one is on the financing for development, and the other is the uh, post-2015 uh, development uh, agenda. And the third one is the um, Paris Climate Change Agreement. So in, in, um, in those uh, three uh, processes, as many of the um, LDCs, we need to sort of get our priorities and as well as our inputs into the um, wider G77 uh, group. I think the, the, um, the critical point here in terms of any sustainable development is the means of implementation. That is very critical in terms of um, financing for any development to sort of take off from, from the ground. And that is basically securing the financial resources, the uh, technology transfer, and the capacity building in terms of um, any development. And basically from an LDC sense, one of the most important thing that we, we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis is the climate change impact and disasters. As you may note, the recent uh, um, Cyclone Palm hit Vanuatu and Solomon Islands is one of them as well. And we're dealing with the food security emergencies at the moment. So you, you can see the critical point of having you know, climate financing and dealing with uh, disaster rehabilitation is also one of the critical points. So means of implementation is very important, not just for everybody, but just especially for the LDCs. We need the ODA to be untied, to actually put into productive use. We need concessional financing for LDCs. We need the technology transfer to actually make it available at affordable rates so that LDCs can access those facilities and make de development uh, financing meaningful to actually you know, eradicate poverty and as well as uh, to bring a meaningful development at the country level.